Why did the Watergate scandal cause President Nixon to quit? Let's clarify. 45 years ago, on June 17, 1972, five men close to President Richard Nixon broke into the offices of the Democratic Party inside the Watergate building in Washington, D.C. They tried to place listening devices on phones and steal secret papers to find embarrassing information on Nixon's opponents for his re-election campaign. Nixon managed to keep his name out of the Watergate scandal throughout the rest of the campaign and was re-elected in November 1972. What he didn't know, though, is that two reporters for the Washington Post newspaper had an anonymous source named Deep Throat. This source told them that the president did not order the burglary of the Democratic Party offices, but when he heard about it, tried to hide the truth. Despite growing suspicion, investigators couldn't find any real evidence Nixon lied or tried to cover up the crime. When investigators asked Nixon to turn over tapes that would help them find out whether he did something wrong, he said no. But the Supreme Court, the highest court in the U.S., ordered the president to turn the tapes over. Once the tapes were released, Nixon resigned on August 9, 1974, because he knew Congress was about to impeach him and remove him from office. Richard Nixon is the only U.S. president to resign from office. Many people were arrested because of this scandal and sent to prison. But Nixon was forgiven for his crime by the next president a month later, so he didn't go to jail. Do you think Nixon should have gone to jail? Would you like to be a reporter? Why? <laughs> 